This is the story of how I got to a popular Minecraft server, even though I didn't know anyone and I never played Minecraft. So why was I there? Well, it started back a few months ago, where some popular shorts creators decided to get a whole bunch of people together to participate in a brand new Minecraft SMP. Today, we'll be recapping my overall experience, what I thought about everyone, and most importantly, going over the tragic ending to the entire project. I was pretty hesitant because when it comes to Minecraft, I know jack So I said yes. After all, what's the worst that can happen? We begin on opening day where we have a cute little countdown to help initiate the start of the server. After that, it kind of just became every man for himself. If you don't know, I'm a pretty shy person, so I made a point to introduce myself and socialize with everyone. Little did I know this would be a mistake. Don't get me wrong, I met a lot of cool people on the first day. However, I soon started to realize that they were making far more progress than I was. Like people were building weapons, houses, and guns. Wait, what? As more time passed, I was starting to get more comfortable with the game. I got a good feel for the controls and gathered more materials. Also, I fought my first creeper. He's a fight. Oh, somebody blew up. Did I die? <laughs> oh, did I die? But there was one question that kept floating in my head. How the fuck do you build a crafting table? Can I make a, a, a how's it called? The build building block with this type of wood? I was Press E and go into crafting. Hey. Oh, <laughs> shh, dude, I'm cooking. I'll hold on to the bench oh, for now, God, unless you guys like need it. Right now. After getting some help from my peers with all the basics, a few of us decided to head to the mines to gather more resources. Ooh, what's this? That is... How'd it go? Where'd it, where'd it go? You walk past... Well, that iron? Well, why, why isn't that my inventory? Bro, I, I'm like running on 2 IQ right now. I'm also running on 2 IQ. <laughs> we were making some great progress down there, and I was feeling pretty confident. But little did I know, the rest of the server members had something else planned up on the surface. And I didn't even know about this until days later. I love you, man. The next day arrives, and I realize my base kind of looks like shit. We decided the mountains would be a cool spot to hang as I got a good look of the others from a distance. Speaking of others, I thought it would be best to take a stroll around town to get some inspiration. And I was actually surprised with how much effort was being put. I spent the majority of the stream farming more resources, and I'll be honest, I didn't really talk to anyone that day. So to help make up for the lack of interactions, I decided to create some stick figures of the members. Dude, looks like I have friends now. Alright. Oh, what's, what's so after spending four hours on the server, we were able to make a very luxurious dirt house. I know you're jealous. On day three, we had our first community event where we got everyone in the server to come together. For today's agenda, we're prosecuting each other. Someone in SMP has been secretly stealing everyone's diamonds behind their backs. And so far, no one has confessed. So a core system was put in place to help us find the culprit. Basically, each person goes to the stand and are asked three questions. They are forced to tell the truth, otherwise they'll get banned from the server. Here are some of the questions that were asked. Okay, how big is your gyat? <laughs> Do it on stream. <laughs> more like bun daddy. Oh my oh, god. Bro, who's your favorite shorts creator? Oh. Myself. Clearly. Who's your second favorite? Johnny. Johnny. <laughs> Are you the best right, shorts worst? Did he pair? Yeah. Oh. So as you can see, we weren't really getting anywhere. Ricky decided to make a surprise guest appearance, and then we killed him. And then we took his head. Also, till this day, we never figured out who stole the diamonds. We make it to day 4, which believe it or not, already marks the halfway point of the server. When we go online, I realize there weren't that many people on. This day, we kept things pretty simple. We sheared some sheeps, discovered a Walmart that was a work in progress, and encountered a chicken burger man. So, uh, you single? I love the drip, by the way. Mm -hmm. The butt's a little flat, but we can work on that. Oh. This day in the server was pretty tamed, which is fine. Sometimes it's just nice to have some chill sessions, you know? But little did I know, this would be the last normal day on the server. Because there was something that would happen on the next day that none of us saw coming, and forever changed the fate of the server. We wake up on day 5 and discover that we're fighting against each other in a coliseum. Hosted by the burger man we saw earlier. That's right baby, we have a tournament arc. We went through numerous rounds of fighting. Some were exciting, and some were a little slow. And then, there was my fight. Ooh, I don't even know what to go for. I don't know any of these weapons. Brad, please enter the arena when you are ready. I'm gonna unlock the door shortly. I'm going huge. Oh. The purple corner. Man from down under. Bunda. Oh. Yellow corner. The underdog. Underdog? <laughs> what? The <laughs> three, two, one. Oh. Hold on, I'm lagging, I'm lagging. Oh, okay, a ton of strike. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I am lagging, I oh, okay, 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 oh, okay, okay, I see. Oh, oh, hey, oh, hey. Oh, 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 o
Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. The tournament progressed further where we eventually got to the final fight. It was a bit chaotic, but it's what happened afterwards that changed everything. It like seems the that Johnny is our winner. The last person standing. What? What just happened? We respawned back at base and had to travel all the way back to the Coliseum. But then a freaking nether portal just came out of nowhere. So the most logical thing for us was to go through it. Now again, I've never really played Minecraft, so I didn't know what to expect. And as soon as I got to the other side, bro, it was like a sensory overload. We were all so lost on what to do, so we decided to do some exploring to hopefully gather more clues. I may have died a couple of times. Hey, Rad, Rad, peace, pass, peace. Peace, no, peace, hey, peace, hey. peace, peace, peace. We're friends, hey, friends, friends. Peace. Peace. Oh, what the? No! Are you oh, no! Then the chicken burger man decided to teleport us to the end portal for one final test. Wait, why were we just here all of a sudden? Why are there so many dragons? Wait, I don't, I don't, I don't like this. I'm going up, I'm coming up, I'm going up. Why are there four withers on screen? Wait, chat, I can't die. I need to see the end. Guys, what is going on? <laughs> oh, dragon, okay. Let me, let me get swinging. Oh, yeah, I need to contribute to the group project. Let me get the assist. Come on, we got this, we got this, we got this. <laughs> so yeah, the ender dragon has some friends to bring, which made this battle significantly harder. But that didn't stop the mighty warriors from slaying the dragon. Or I think we killed it. I don't know, I literally died the last second. Let me cook! Afterwards, we all tell her back to the main gathering area and we're confused onto what exactly happened. Did we kill a dragon? And why are we back here? After further observation, we found out that the ender dragon had one more plan up his sleeve. A super mega super sized block of TNTs. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, I don't, I don't want to be, I don't want to be on top of it. Everyone was blown to pieces as the dragon took his victims one by one. The dragon's attacks were so fatal that it literally killed the server. With no longer having the ability to re-log in, we actually thought that was the end of it. Weeks of work gone just like that. So we had to end the day on a very somber note, as we had to forcefully conclude the Chicken Burger SMP. At least, so we thought. You see, we met Chicken Burger Man a few times throughout the server, and one thing you should know is that he's actually a deity, a god. He can fly around, control the elements, teleport us around, and most importantly, he can control time. So with the last remains of his powers, he was able to take the ruined state of the server and have it rewind all the way back to day five. The morning of the Coliseum. With everything reinstated, we can finally move on with the server peacefully. At first glance, everything seemed to be back to normal, but we noticed that something was missing, or actually, a whole lot missing. You see, Chicken Burger Man is not perfect. Sure, he might be a god, but even a god can have some flaws. When Chicken Burger Man reversed our world, he was able to bring us back to this new restored timeline, but unfortunately, not everyone was able to make it. Chicken Burger Man's limited powers led to allow the members to be left behind in the void of the corrupted timeline, even including himself. What we supposed to do now? Why were we chosen to live? And where do we go from here? So we spent the next two days creating gravestones for the ones that could not make it, and ultimately agreed that this would be how we end the SMP. But not without one last thing. Now back in the old timeline, the Ender Dragon actually died in the TNT explosion with us. In this new timeline, we were restored back, but that also means the dragon's been revived. Knowing this, we decided to have one final battle with the dragon, and this time, we had to do it right. Given that our forces have been significantly reduced, we had to prepare ourselves immensely by crafting the best armor sets with the most powerful weapons possible. I got this cool spear looking thing that makes me go Whee! We assembled the portal, gave one last hoorah, and went to go fight the dragon one last time. Oh god, oh god, I don't know what to do. How, how do I how do I hit the dragon? Oh my god. Oh god, they're clapping my cheeks. Shoot the dragon, shoot the dragon, shoot the dragon. Oh. It's perching! It's perching! Bring, bring a harmonica? <laughs> Guys, it was the ender dragon inside of us all along. So <laughs> Yo, these fires are kicking my ass. Oh my god. Oh my god. Go, 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 go. Oh my god, please. Yo, this guy's phantom texting me. Yo, <laughs> Oh, we did it. Oh, jeez. Let's go. go. And with that, we finally defeated the boss of the SMP. Before, we mentioned that we built the graves of our friends, but we also built ones for each of us, even though we're still alive. Our reasoning for this, even though we vanquished the dragon, it just didn't feel right for the few of us to carry on with the server without the rest of us being there. We started to reminisce about the old memories of our time here, said our goodbyes, and got together one last time with a team chant. Chicken burger! Chicken burger! Chicken burger. Chicken burger. Chicken burger. Yeah. I had a great time being on this server, made so many great friends, and had a blast through it all. It's sad that we couldn't be together in the very end, but I know one day, sometime, somewhere, we'll all meet again.